G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And this morning we are going to do a mask video. I've been waiting to do this one for quite some time, but oh, I wasn't sure if I should do it or not because I can't just go into my local store and pick it up. You actually do have to buy these ones online. Um, but today we are going to do the, I um, may get this wrong, it's a Korean mask. It's called the Haru Haru Everyday Solutions lifting mask and what I'm excited about actually the most about this is the packaging now I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this cute little fugly guy here what I'll do is I'll insert a picture for you but he is just freaking adorable I've looked at the other masks from this brand and they've all got these cute little images and I know that that doesn't have anything to do with whether the mask works or not but I think it's just that little bit extra touch that makes me excited to try a product you know so this is the mask that we're gonna try today I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but you're going to find out with me, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back guys. Now, as you can see, I am pretty low-key. This is supposed to be chill, supposed to be relaxed. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm neither chill nor relaxed, but this is the time slot that I had to record, so we're going to try and work it. Um, <laughs> I'm a vampire. I like nighttime, so everything nighttime. So, anyway... So, uh, they are saying that this is the tightening headlock. Let's give a little bit of a read, eh? Um, I believe online you can pick this up in a packet of five. Um, all details that I can't remember off the top of my head will be on the screen somewhere, so just watch out for that. It contains these ingredients here, and the reason why I'm putting them on the screen is because I can't pronounce half of them, so here you go. And, um, yeah, let's just get into it, eh? So, this one here, you need to make sure that you... Cleanse your skin and use a toner, which I have done. Then we're going to place the sheet on the face, except for around the eyes and the mouth. Yes. And then we're going to sit here for 15, 20 minutes and remove the mask. It'll be interesting to see what kind of mask this is, because I'm really trying to find a mask that's not only affordable, but has that cloth kind of texture. A lot of the masks that I've been trying lately, they've... They're okay, but they're, the material's more of that cardboardy sort of texture, and it doesn't quite sit on the face properly. I can't do anything, and, you know, I like to get up and about and do all these sorts of things. So let's open up this bad boy and see what it does. I can't give you any other um, description because it's all in another language. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. All right, let's get it up. Ooh. I always do that every time. I open up these things, I squirt juice everywhere. Now it is scented straight up, I'm going to tell you that, which makes me nervous <laughs> because uh, if you're new to my channel, I have dry sensitive eczema prone skin and um, if I'm going to break out, you're going to see it right here on camera. So, oh, quite a lot of liquid in there. That's, that's fine. I like that. All right, let's get the hair out of the way first. Use these rabbit ears properly. Rabbit ears. Cat ears. Oh, okay. I can feel that it's already one of those soft... I can feel that it's already one of those soft cloths. There we go. There we go. Oh, very saturated. Yes. I'm already happy. I can tell that it's one of those good quality cloth masks. See, if a budget brand can, or budget masks, can have this cloth material, then why can't they all, you know? Oops, we're slipping, okay. Kind of looks like the ghost mask at the moment. Okay. All right, so we're going to have to unravel it on the face, guys. All right, there's the nose bit. Where's that? That's on the inside. All right. So I'm a clumsy fool who always struggles to put her masks on. But let's do it together. All right. Have to use the viewfinder. Blah. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what that smells like. There's the nose hole. Okay. You might need a towel next to you because this is very, very saturated. I'm just going to get my little mirror. This is, wow, okay. 
All right, we're just gonna make some adjustments here. Okay, I'm not gonna make this look as pretty as what some other people can, but it is definitely got plenty of mask area. Sticking to the face very well. I do have it in my hair. Apologies for people that find that cringy. I do need to wash my hair tonight anyway, so I'm not bothered. Mmm. Alright. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but my hands are saturated. I am just going to wipe off some of this residue and then we can have a chat. Mmm. For those who don't know, Korean skincare is supposed to be right up there. It's supposed to be some of the best skincare that you can actually get, which makes me excited about this because it is budget friendly. So, mm, there is a lot of fluid. I might actually put some of that on my neck later if it doesn't react to my face. Um, so I believe this is supposed to be like a tightening anti-wrinkle kind of mask. I don't expect it to get rid of any of my wrinkles. Um, I'm 34 and, eh, you know, it comes with the territory. This nose flap again. I still wish they would find a way to stop that. Um, I'm not a fan. I keep forgetting to bring my scissors in here just to cut that bit off because I figure the excess juice I can just tap it on. Don't need a mask over that. But hmm, this is feeling really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit intimidated by the fact that it's so strong scented. It's um, it does kind of remind me um of like a I don't know um perfume mixed with some sort of cleaning detergent so mm, but if I don't break out then great but I think that you definitely need to do a patch test for anybody who is sensitive I didn't do one today like I said I'm your personal little guinea pig so uh, that's a big risk that I play with my own skin and you shouldn't do it to your own so yes I do have tons more masks coming up and I want you to help me pick which ones I'm going to do next give me a minute I meant to bring them over and I didn't so if anyone who just wants to know about how this mask worked on my face, I'll leave a timestamp or a time code on the screen somewhere so you can skip right to that part and just find out for yourself. But for anyone else who's interested, I have a bunch of masks that I need to get through and um, I'm going to ask for your help to pick which next mask that I should do. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram already um, and you want to help out with picking, I usually do all of my stuff over there. But I'm going to ask you right here right now because I have a few. So, I have the Luminescence Hydra Shield Mask. This guy, I think, is expensive. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I do believe that I got this one from a Bella Box. So, we have that. That's a sheet mask. I have these Wanda Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, which I'm really excited for. Uh, I think you can buy these in a pack of five or six. I think they're about $6, $7 a pair, so I'm excited about those as well. Um, I also have an Ole Magna Mask Infusion. Um, these ones we can pick up in our local drugstore, so I have that for anyone interested. Also a sheet mask. Then I have the 7th Heaven Strawberry Cream Mask. I've tried this one before, but I haven't done it on camera for you guys. Um, so if you're interested in seeing anything about that, I do have another 7th Heaven mask that I've done. I believe it was a coconut one. I'll leave that up there for you guys if you want to go and check that out. Amongst all the other masks videos that I do have, I do particularly prefer sheet masks, but I've got some other ones there if you want to go over and have a look. That's not it though. I also have the Garnier Skin Active Honey Mask, which is also a cream-based mask, which is also supposed to be good for um, repairing and dry skin. And then last but not least, I have the Vitamasks Manuka Honey Hydrating Moisture Mask, which is also another sheet mask. So I have done a few masks from Vitamasks. Once again, I'll leave it up in the, um, up there for you guys. And uh, yeah, other than that, they're all my face masks. I have a couple of other things, uh, hair things. Now I have the Hask Keratin Protein. What are you? This is a deep soothing conditioner. Now, I absolutely love the shit 
out of the regular conditioner. The smell, oh my god, guys, if you didn't go out and buy the shampoo, sorry, the sh well, the shampoo and the conditioner off my recommendation because of the price, you can pick these little guys up for a couple of bucks if you just want to smell it for yourself and like, oh, phew. but anyway, I can do this one on camera for you if you like, and I'm actually really excited about this because I don't use conditioner in my hair. I, um, I feel conditioner weighs my hair down and from time to time I do need something like this just to sort of give my hair a boost. I do typically use the um, argan oil or the Hask argan oil hair oil. So I'll put that in the um, the tips of my hair and uh, yeah, but every now and then I grab one of these bad boys and hmm. So I do have that and I also have this Garnier Fructus Wonder Mask. Uh, this is for hair too, it's a two-step thingamajiggy. I've never used anything like this one before. I got this one for Mother's Day actually last year. So I haven't got around to using it. So if there's anything there that you guys want to see, just shoot me a comment down below or head over to my social other social medias, particularly um, Instagram, and uh, we can have a vote off. It's not going to be my next video though. I have promised that uh, the next video that I would do, I'll do some eye looks. And I'm actually really excited because not only do I have the uh, Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, but I've also just picked up, it's on its way, the um, Juvia's Place The Violets palette. And I'm so freaking excited about that. So I want to play around with that a little bit. I want to do swatch videos with that one. I want to do um, my favorite look with that one once I use it a little bit. And then I also want to compare it to my ColourPop's... Um, it's my pleasure purple palette just to see if there's colors that are very similar and maybe I'll do a side by side to see what kind of looks I can get and compare the two formulas so um, I'm really really excited about that and um, I hope that you guys are too and you're interested in watching it so um, yeah I got a lot of things planned I've just got to pull my finger out and actually get it all done so a little bit time poor but I'm working on it and um, I'm excited for 2020 guys I really am I <sighs> 2019, it was a little bit rough, but things are um, things are looking good already, and um, I can't wait. So, um, yeah. Do you know what I love about this mask? Other than this stupid little flap above the lip, which always falls on every single mask that I've ever tried, it's sticking to my face. I mean, I've been talking to you guys for a little bit now. It has not unbuckled from unbuckled. It has not uncurled from my chin, which normally happens within seconds of me talking. Which means that I can go about my day-to-day -day life. If I wanted to do the dishes, I could do the dishes. Not that I'm going. <laughs> no, I'm not going to mask and do dishes. That's just not me. Um, but if I wanted to have a conversation with somebody, I wouldn't be worried about it. If I wanted to drink my coffee, well, of course I would cut off that lip flap. But I would feel comfortable actually having my coffee and just kicking back. And I feel comfortable that I could go about my day-to-day -day life wearing this mask and not be worried about having to touch it all the time. Because it is a rather moist mask. Um, sorry if that makes anybody feel cringy, but it is. Um, it's definitely saturated. I love that in the mask. Um, but it's not saturated to the point where it's dripping off. Like once you apply the mask, it pretty much like all the moisture. I can feel my skin like, I don't know. It feels like it's just like <laughs> sucking it all in. So yeah, I really, really do hope that this mask doesn't uh, cause any sort of irritation in my face. And um, as I always say, usually the best time that I get results for these masks are the next day. And um, I will always leave a message down below, um, a pinned comment or something, just to get, l let you guys know if there are any reactions that weren't caught on camera. Um, and yeah, I reckon it's about time to take this bad boy off, guys. What do you reckon? Alright, so let me see. Yep, I definitely got my hair. Alright, so we have a little bit of pinkness which is typically normal for me, so don't stress about that. Now it says to pat in. Now I've had another mask that has told me to pat in the leftover stuff and I'm not, I do that with my own skincare, right? Like I pat in my moisturizers, my serums, but there is so much product. I'm going to run some down my neck, um, but patting it in, there's way too much to, to pat in. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, little bit of a massage. Can you see the redness? And don't stress too much guys because this is my natural face. It doesn't like being touched uh, 
water will make my face go red. So <laughs> yeah, it's definitely interesting. But it doesn't seem to have caused anything sort of nasty. But like I said, I could turn this camera off right now. 10 minutes later, it could be a complete flare up. It's just one of those things. My face is temperamental. Temperamental. <laughs> oh, I miss all that music from the past. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to listen to that today. Where's the divinals? Mm. Yes. All right. So what do we think about this mask, guys? Well, okay. I hate the fact that it's scented, but I found that most Korean skincare is scented. So I love the fact that it comes in packs of five or six. I love the fact that it's budget. I really love the fact that it's a cloth mask and that it sticks to the face. I love the fact that it's uh, very saturated. Um, it's a little bit difficult to use, but that's because it's the cloth mask. Um, you know, it's going to fall back on itself if you're a bit of a klutz like me. Um, it felt very comfortable on. I've got a slight tingling, but it's not a burning. It's a nice sort of refreshing, cooling sort of thing. Um, once it does go on your face, the sort of you get used to the smell. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about these spots, but um, overall, I wish I didn't get so much of it in my hair. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see if I can read some of the ingredients. What do we got here? So, let's just talk about some of the first ingredients. So we have DI. I'm not sure what that is, but that's the first ingredient. Next ingredient is water, which is good. Next ingredient is glycerin. I think that's good. The next ingredient is niacinamide, which I know is good. Um, the next one after that is 1,2 hexanidol. Then we got wine berry, brown rice vinegar. Brown rice vinegar? Maybe that's where the tingling's coming from. Mm. Um yeah, we got a lot of a lot of other things. Um root extracts, lots of root extracts actually. Um I don't really know much of these ingredients. We've got rosemary, we've got leaf oils. We've got, by the looks of it, lavender oils, we've got basil, we've got a lot of herbs in this. We've got lemon, peel oil, citrus. Interesting. I'm going to have to learn more about ingredients um, to better help you guys. It has lemon in here. I don't, I don't particularly find lemon a great um, skincare ingredient, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I've got to do a little bit more research myself, but um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. Look, just want to show you, maybe you can see, just that little bit of redness there, and on my head, you see? But what I'm going to do, like I said, it's not burning, it's not hurting like what a typical nasty reaction with me would be. If you don't have sensitive skin, I'm sure this will be perfectly fine for you, because it feels really mild in comparison to some of the other ones that I've actually tried, not from this brand obviously, but um... I'm really not worried. This actually feels quite nice despite what it uh, looks like. So I'm going to leave a pinned comment below and let you guys know if anything good or anything bad happens and how my skin feels the next day. And I really do hope that you join me for my new upcoming videos. Like I said, guys, leave me a message down below if there's a mask that you saw there that you want me to try, review, whatever. And if you like what you saw today, feel free to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like the content that I'm pumping out for you guys. And um, yeah, if you're not part of the family yet and you want to become part of the family, don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribe button but like I say every single time if you want to be notified of every video that I upload feel free to hit that uh, bell icon and it'll notify you every single time until then guys I'll see you in the next video bye